All right, all right. All hell, Knights of the Gimmick Table, where we spit the truth at the infamous round table and your feelings get left at the door. I am Boogaloo. This is Lowrider. We are the Dead Presidents. What's up, everybody? What's going What's on, up? man? What's going on, Chum? Not much. Shout out to Cicadas for the theme song on our intro, and shout out to Charles Redman for making that video and putting hey, that together for us. You know that countdown that counts us down? Yeah, it kinda, it we probably really, don't need to do that, right? Well, no, I like it because it, it takes me back to thinking about old Coliseum videos with WWE. You know, I don't know. I don't remember that. Shit. I, I get it. I get it. Anyways, let's uh, let's go with some sponsors, man. Let's do it. All right, man. Well, first things first. How about this? Ooh, sleeps.com. Yeah, if you're an athlete or anybody in your family or in your life is an athlete, you might want to check out sleeps.com. They offer a wide variety of things from arm sleeves, knee sleeves, joggers, uh, compression pants, compression shirts, compression shorts, uh, dick sleeves, uh, head, headbands, all kinds of stuff, uh, even dirty boxers. You see the one that we're advertising now with the elephant trunk in the front, then you got the monkey with the banana. Hey, uh, go ahead and get yourself some dirty boxers. Get yourself some sleeves. Uh, use MWA pod code for your 10% discount. All right. And <clears throat> Health Vape. Health Vape sells healthy vaping alternatives. All their products have no nicotine, no harmful or addictive chemicals, and they're vitamin infused. So make sure you pick yourself up some of their vape and pod products using our code MWA pod for a discount. Yeah, yeah. And what we got? Hold on, we gotta we gotta give a shout out to uh okay the realm network.com. Hey guys, MWA Podcast Network. You get exclusive MWA Podcast Network material, such as Knights of the Gimmick Table with your boys the Dead Presidents, Get Funk with Alan Kwee Funk, Shooting the Shit Uncensored with Pierce Austin, and Killing the Business with King. Pin Angel Medina and King Mega and Glenn Sexton. There's too many kings on that damn uh, yeah, show. King. We should just call them the kings. How about yeah, that? Yeah, down with the kings, the three kings. We we'll make uh, we'll get uh, nah, we, we'll we get, can't call we can't call Glenn a king. Yeah, we can call him a king. We'll get him a Burger King yeah. crown at the kids' meal. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you get with that MWA podcast network. You get exclusively on the Realm Network. You get everything that we drop. Three weeks before it airs on YouTube. Okay. Also, go ahead, Chong. What else we got? Uh, if you go on Twitter or Instagram at NWA World, like us, subscribe to us, or you can go on YouTube at MWA Podcast Network and uh, give us a like, a follow, subscribe, you know, all of that stuff. Give us the thumbs up and... Uh, also, if you go on twitch.tv slash MWA world, you can uh, watch our live new shows. Shows. Uh, shows. Yeah, we have wrestling with sports Weekly. that have uh, me, Boogaloo, and King Mega, where we talk about all kinds of sports. It doesn't matter what kind of sport it is. If, some, if it's in the headlines, we're going to talk about it. Yeah. Um, then there's also the Funk and Kingpin show with uh, Alan Kiwi Funk and Kingpin Angel. And the uh, NXT Roundup. Right? Right? Oh, yeah. shit. I got it. NXT Roundup with uh, Pierce Austin and Glenn Sexton. So those shows are weekly. They're live. So you guys can tune in. And uh, you know, interact with us. We appreciate the interaction. You know, while it's Man, going on, so much energy coming off of you while you uh, read these, uh, go through these ads. Bro, I'm and fucking that, tired. You're, you're freestyling them. Yeah, okay. I, I am tired, bro. It's uh, right. almost midnight. All right. Well, we're going on episode twenty-one of Nights at the Gimmick Table with our boy. He's back for round two. Bring him in. Tony Drake, aka Baby Slim, <laughs> aka Coaching by Drake. What's what up, up, man? What up? What up? Yeah. What up? Good evening to y'all. All right, man. Nice. Look, we got the tank top on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing off the showing off the gun show. The gun show. 
warm in here. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, so um, let's let's uh pick up where we left off. We were gonna talk about uh Wrestling Society X. How'd you get mm -hmm. into that? That was an MTA MTV thing, right? Yeah, that was an MTV thing, and uh, Kevin Kleinrock uh got myself and Ruckus to tag team um under the name Keeping the Gangs, and so um huge huge shout out to Kevin Kleinrock for that, and uh, he wanted to do a tag team division and 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 got us up in there, so it was great. There's a, there was a lot of talent on that on that thing too, right? Right. Was it, was it Seth Rollins uh, there too? Uh, yeah, he was there. Uh, him and um, I forgot the other guy's name, but they had a tag team called DIFH. It was like Do It For Her. It was like slash emo slash hard rock. Was that uh, Jimmy um, Jimmy Jacobs? Jimmy Jacobs. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so they teamed up. Dragon Gate was there. Um, uh, who else was up in there? Uh, Matt Seidel or Everborn and uh, Scorpio Sky. The they, they were like a team? Uh, they did more singles. Okay. Um, yeah. But, oh, well, but, yeah, yeah. Sky was like, Sky was supposed to be like a, a high school athlete, right? Something like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He won all the awards as a high school athlete. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Most likely to succeed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you man. Know, I still look at that from time to time and it was just great great time man i mean i would think about it that was 15 years ago already yeah time flies yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely some uh when i was looking at those uh at the people that were on there it's kind of they had a, a decent roster yep mm -hmm. yeah yeah that luke hawks was on there too yeah yep. ultra boy luke. Brad, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were a team, right? Well. On that, yes, yeah, they were. A team. Hey, let me ask you a yeah. question what what caused that promotion uh, to not succeed? I mean, what, why did they pull the plug on it? So, I think what ended up happening was there was a lot of speculation that went around, but I think what ended up happening was they one of the fireballs or explosions caused concern. Um, and I think that's what kind of raised the red flag. Um, to put the show on hold or cancel the show. What did something um, burn down or something? No, I think it was just I guess I think it might have been against FCC regulation. Okay. But that's what I was that's what I heard. Um it's, but who knows what really went down. Yeah. That's <clears> kind of funny though. Happened. It's kind of funny, but then they they bring out shows like Jackass where these guys are <laughs> any they could die on the TV show at any time, you know uh, or Wild Boys, or whatever silliness they were doing, Nitro Circus, and people could die at any time, but they had a problem with Pyro. Pyro. <laughs> right. right. They're, 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 I'm, sure, they're, I'm sure it's done by professionals, not some clowns that are <laughs> doing right. it for uh, just for laughs and shit, you know? Yeah. Right. And that's why it was kind of like, that's why we ended up going under? Uh, I don't know about that. So, yeah, but didn't y'all have like a crappy time slot also? Um, from what I remember, so here's it was early part. afternoon, right? Uh, I think it was on at seven thirty our time, California time, PSC. Yeah, so he would come on like three o'clock in on Eastern time. I remember that it was like a weird time that we could never watch it, and that was before in demand and all that. So you weren't gonna see it unless you could catch it on the rerun. Yeah, and and um. When it first aired, because it was like, oh, coming out this week, I think we were week three in Keeping It Gangster. They were like, oh, and this week it's going to be Keeping It Gangster versus uh, that 70s team. I was already about to have a little girl party and got booked in Japan again. So I never saw it live. And oh, then when shit. I came back, they were like, oh, we got to finish the season. And I was like, we just started. And like, yeah, we got to finish it. And I was like, we're wrapping so, it up. <laughs> Once again, good timing. <laughs> yeah, for real. Hey, but man, you know what? You you got you had a lot of great uh you've been part of a lot of great things, you know what I'm saying? If you think about it, you you could say like the timing was you know screwed you up, you know, but it, and take a look at it, man. You've been a part of a lot of like history, man. If you think about it, you got you got to spend time in Japan, you were part of XPW when it was getting hot. Um, you were part of Wrestling Society X, that was something brand new, and then that crazy UWF thing or whatever, Urban Wrestling League or whatever. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, I mean, you've been, you, you did a lot, bro, if you think about it. Yeah. 
and that's that's the part that I really enjoy is that because when I do share stories with people, um, not of it, not a lot of it has to do with what I did in wrestling. It's what mm-hmm. I've learned from wrestling, mm-hmm. um, and and taking that and applying it to what I do now, um, it really does help. So uh, it's, it all starts with discipline, and that's where I'm like so thankful for. So I think if I didn't have that in my life, the wrestling in my life, my life would be a lot different right now. Yeah, I could tell you, like, you're very disciplined. I mean, as far as you're working out, because I, when I came, went down and spent some time with you in California, that was the first time I ever seen the LA Fitness. I never, we didn't have them up in New York yet. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, man, this gym is amazing. And then we're going around, I'm working out with you and your your girlfriend who became your wife. Right. And it's like the workouts were all intense and stuff. And I'm like, wow, this, we're going out there. All right, cool. And like, yeah. I, I wanted to throw up, but I kept going. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, everything was intense, and like your diet was strict. It was like really strict. And then the weekend came, and you like, oh, you got a cheat meal day. And I'm like, okay, let's go. And then next day, I know you. I, I go to drive through with you, and then I, I was like, I couldn't believe all the food you and her got. And then we went to the, the Padres game, Padres and we got game. more food. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, I can't eat. Like my stomach was about to bust, bro. I could, I could yeah. eat. You guys, you guys were eating like competitive eaters, so yeah, <laughs> on the cheat yeah. meal days, you guys went all in on cheat meal, but yeah, yeah man, I, that was crazy, man. But you yeah. guys were so disciplined, like you and her, man. I mean, another she had like ph- phenomenal physique, too. What she did, some like uh, she did some shows, right? Like uh, yeah, she did competitions. competitions, right? Yeah, yeah, she did figure and bikini competition, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She and she and she's an athlete too, right? She played soccer, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So she was yeah, a she's a football. her body's conditioned, yeah. So to, to play, you know. So yeah, man, that you guys were very intense. Like your your workouts were very intense. And I remember you would send me workouts to do and stuff like that. My problem is uh dieting. I've always been my problem, but I mean you you come up with new ways to uh to deal with that, and we'll get to that in a second. I wanted to ask you mm-hmm. about uh religion because that was a that was a thing that, like i experienced with you for the first time uh you used to be a jehovah's witness mm-hmm. and i remember going to uh what was it called uh the jo- kingdom, kingdom, hall. kingdom hall yeah i remember yeah. going to kingdom hall with you and yeah. uh when you came to new york we went to the kingdom hall you we had to go to, we had to go to the kingdom hall before we went to do a show i remember <laughs> that day i was like oh man yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah, man. I mean, how long how long were you a Jehovah's Witness for? Um, so I was born into the belief, um, yeah, and or into the religion, and uh, for a while, uh, we we kind of strayed away from it. And then I think it's two thousand and two, two thousand three, I started going back into Bible study. Um, and even though I was never baptized, fortunately. Um, I stuck around pretty close to it as if I was um, mm-hmm. going to every meeting um, and you know, raising my hand when answering questions, uh, being part of a, a one-on-one Bible study, small group study. Um, and it was a lot. I, I, I stayed pretty dedicated, but I never took that dip into the water to get baptized. I just, it was something about it that helped me back. I was like, I'm not ready. And wrestling was one of them because there was a lot of talk about how God hates a soul who loves violence. And I never looked at wrestling as violence. I looked at it as a sport, right? Man. And so, um, and entertaining. I wasn't going in the ring to try to knock somebody out, right? mm-hmm. but to, to entertain. And uh, yeah. after a while, I used to leave Bible study depressed because wrestling would come up. And it was more of a, a pressure to get me out of wrestling, which I couldn't stand. So, Questions started popping up in my head and doubts started popping up in my head. And then they were, my Bible study teacher was talking about, you know, having a beard, how you can't have a beard. And I'm like, we're, we're grown men. Why can't men have a beard? Right. You know, you see some women with beards. You're just like, hold on, player. But besides that, like in reality, <laughs> us men, we have beards. Right. And when you look at some right. magazines that were published, Jesus had a beard in the, in the, the, the magazine. So yeah. it's like, well, why can't we? Um, so as I start doing more and more research, there's a lot of man-made rules that are part of it. So right. not going too much detail, but long story short, I ended up leaving in 2016. Never looked back. 
Okay. So what are you doing now for religion? Because I know you you always been a spiritual person. Yeah. So what are, what are you doing now? Um, so I don't have any religion that I'm dedicated to. Um, if anything, right now, I watch a lot of different videos, um, informational videos on the religion I grew up in and finding out there's a lot of stuff that's being uncovered to where it's like, I am so glad I'm not part of that anymore. Um, wow. So I don't, I don't have any, any uh, denomination that I belong to. Um, however, um, I did learn a lot of good stuff from growing up in a religion. It's not all bad, but it, you know, I believe that it's taught me mentally to, to um, as a lot of people say, you know, be a good person, uh, treat people fairly, treat people with respect, um, love one another, right? Um, so I think a lot of that's taught me uh, there was a lot of good stuff in there. And my father figure, uh, not my real father, but my father figure, he was part of the Kingdom Hall. He was an elder. Um, of the religion, and he he is like the best man that that I've ever known. Um, so much so that I have him tattooed on my arm. So he was like very instrumental in my life. Uh, he's no longer here. He's been he's been gone for ten years, but there were some good things that came from it as well. But, um, all right, all right, all right. Um, you know what always bothered me, dude? Because your birthday would come up, and I always wanted to tell you happy birthday, but because of the religion, you're like, oh no, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. I, I don't celebrate. Yeah. When he was like, "I don't celebrate birthdays." I was like, "Oh shit, for real?" Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, you know, and it's it's just in us to like wish us at, wish you a merry Christmas and all that. It's like, uh, well, I can't do that to you because you know, and if I wanted to give you something on on that day, it was like, oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so to find out you would no longer not can say happy birthday to my brother and yeah. merry Christmas to you and the family, but yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah. That's it's, it's a good it's a good feeling now that I can actually say this stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and you grew up in it like I, yeah. I, I never had a birthday cake until I turned forty, and that was from my in laws. Wow, that's, right. and that's so awesome. Though. You get that's so pretty cool though. You think about it, you finally yeah. get your first birthday. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, okay, great. But even now, like me being forty three now, when my birthday comes around because it's in June, yeah, like that part, I'm not really tripping. Off of a Father's Day, I'm a mark for like I love Father's <laughs> yeah. Day. Yeah, being a father, yeah. I just love. Yeah, it. hell yeah, I love being a dad. Hey, that's that's pretty. That's cool. That's cool. Anything, Chuck? Nah, man. Like I, I, I didn't know that that you weren't um, following the belief anymore. And then when I had seen when your daughter was born and stuff, and y'all were planning her first birthday, I, I was like, I was like, oh, they they're celebrating her birthday. I was like. Because huh. <laughs> it was just like, yeah. yeah I, I just remembered the, you know, over the years that you were always like, ah, oh, no, we don't celebrate birthdays. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. nah, crazy. I, I remember you coming, you and her coming to uh, Chung's wedding when he when he got married when we uh, out of Clearwater, and uh, yeah. my mo my mother in law my mother in law met you, and uh, she met your wife, and she's like, oh my god, they're gonna make such beautiful babies. <laughs> 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 she's like, she's like, oh my god, they're both beautiful. They're gonna make such beautiful babies. Lo and behold, you have the most one of the cutest babies I've ever seen. Beautiful, you. definitely a, a good mix of the two of y'all too. Oh yeah, you can see right the on. you can see the both of you in her. But yeah, she's she's gorgeous. Thank you. I yeah, yeah, it. yeah. We're very fortunate yeah. to have her. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So let's uh let's fast forward, man, because I I want people to know. Uh, what you're doing now? Because what you're doing now is very interesting. I me and you talk about it, and I've and I didn't even know you were doing it until I'm scrolling through TikTok and boom, who do I see? Coaching by Drake. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and man. I was like, I was like, no way. So I, I hit, I subscribed to it, and then I, I contacted you. I was like, man, this is great. I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> and then you told me all the other stuff you had popping up. So yeah, let's get into it, man. Tell us about it. Yeah, so pretty much what I did is um, took my transformation, my whole lifestyle transformation when it comes to weight and, and um, you know, dropping over 125 pounds. At first, my heaviest was 335 pounds. And then when I was wrestling from 05 to 06, um, I dropped 80 pounds. But then when I was done with wrestling, I started to put the weight back on, right? So I was training. 
I, I was I was eating as if I was still training for a show, but I wasn't training anymore. So then that weight started to come back on. And then in 2016, I went vegan. And at that time, I was like, I want to represent vegan fitness lifestyle the best way I can, but my consistency and discipline was not there. So then in 2019, fast forward is when I started to hear some more information from doctors and not just like MD guys, like these were like doctors who talk a lot about weight loss specifically. So my wife yeah. turned me on to, to, to one, I found another one and then she started doing intermittent fasting. And then with the intermittent fasting came around, I started to notice that I started to lose weight because I got back to almost 300 pounds. And oh, wow, so wow. once um, April came around, April of 2019, um, I'll never forget this. I was at work and here I am, you know, still living a plant-based vegan lifestyle. And I'm like looking at my coworker and they're having chili dogs and nothing against my coworkers at all, but they were having chili dogs and nachos and, and, and all that stuff. And I'm like, how am I setting myself different when I said I want to be able to represent this plant-based fitness lifestyle or healthy lifestyle? And I'm eating just like they are, except for my food's plant-based. There's no difference really. And I was like, I got to be more consistent and I got to be more disciplined and pretty much go back to how I was when I was training for when I was in ring. So for this time, I'm training for something different. It's just more of a healthy lifestyle. And so at this time, my daughter was already one, almost one or six months. And then from April of 2019 to November of 2019, I dropped 62 pounds and uh, was building muscle and burning fat simultaneously, which is very hard to do. But once I found that, then I was like, oh, this is a lifestyle. And then I took that same experience, started helping others and uh, started talking to them about it, answering questions because they see my transformation. And then from there, I dropped four weight. And uh, now it's it, it's not just about the number on the scale. It's about how you feel. My hormones are regulated again. My testosterone levels have gone up tremendously. And I just feel better. So when I take yeah. all that into my lifestyle, I want to be able to share that with other people. Now there is time where they write. So I turned it into a small business um, or my side business right now. And so now I'm doing online coaching for, you know, life and, and uh, lifestyle ascension and health and wellness. It's been great. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's man. I'll tell you, cause you popping up in TikTok and you got, I, like I can't, I can't figure that thing out. Like I will put stuff up on there every once in a while, but I can't figure it out the way you got it going with the videos and you pointing to the stuff. And I'm like, man, this is oh, so yeah. cool. <laughs> like this is cool. I, I gotta learn how to do that. But yeah, you got that. Yeah. You got TikTok down to the science, and that was a great platform for you to use for that because they're short videos and you're getting straight to the point in each video. And I'm like, oh, I gotta watch this one, and I and I start mm -hmm. going through it. I gotta watch this one. Like right now, I'm looking at the Coach Drake's playbook. And uh, the Coach Drake's playbook, and I'm like, man, and it's something that you always, even when I known when I first met you, you were always big on this. Make sure you drink your gallon of water yeah. every day, like you always big on that. And you know, and then you introduce the snake juice thing, and I, I'm familiar yeah. with the snake juice thing because I watched the guy's video. That guy's to me was hilarious. Hey, fatty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Hey, fatty. Day. He goes, you want to lose weight? Stop eating, fatty. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> snake juice, and I'm like, I like this guy is hardcore, but like you yeah. implementing the snake juice into your intermittent fasting, and then with your your life choices, and then you break everything down, it, it works out. And you're not fat shaming anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no fat shaming and telling them you got to stop eating fatty and. Yeah, yeah, none of that. So everything is everything is motivational with you, and that and that's why I said, man, you you found your calling because this is this you're always motivating people, no matter what. Right on, right on. Thank you. Yeah, that's one of my main goals is to do that, continue to do that with motivational speaking, you know, talking with people and and just helping them change their lifestyle, not just lose weight, but to change their lifestyle from the moment they get up to the moment they go to sleep. Right, right. Anything, Sean? No, that's, to me, man, I like I, I seen the body transformation and I was like, damn, man, look at this dude. Oh, this guy weighs less than me. I was like, I'm like, <laughs> man, dude, he's look, like big. Look, he's... looking like a superhero now. Yeah, that's right on. <laughs> like an action figure. Thank you. But yeah, Thank man, you. like, like I, every every time I was like, damn, look at this dude, man. Every time, like, gradually over the over the, you know, the years, just seeing you just slimming up and dropping everything down i was like man look at that yeah, I, thought, great. 
I thought you were about to tell me you would be pick up the new role for Green Lantern or something. You would be the new <laughs> John Stewart. <laughs> they <laughs> offered it. You know, I take that. Hell yeah. Like, um, what I want to ask you was like I see like you're you're into like you're up in the morning, you're up up and early. Like what, what time you get like, like three o'clock in the morning? Three in the morning, man. And you hit yeah, the gym at three in the morning every day? I'm up at three oh five. I get to at about three thirty five and then do my cardio first fasted and then I do my lifting fasted. All in the what's the state. what's the cardio looking like? How many how long are you doing cardio for? I do cardio for at least thirty minutes. Um and I simply just do the treadmill. I like to keep everything simple. Um treadmill i may hit the incline for a little while on the treadmill but i want to get at least 30 minutes in because what happens from there is once you get about 30 minutes in you pretty much use your glycogen storage in your muscle right so mm -hmm. it burns through the glycogen storage and then it starts to attack the body fat once it starts to attack the body fat it's depleting from your body fat storage because you don't have any food in your system for it to burn so it's pulling from that which allows your body fat to go down and for you to lose weight so once i start lifting my muscle is breaking down but it's also building, right? And so my body fat's like, well, I gotta be used for something. And so it uses that to help me fuel my workout. And then when I'm done working out, I don't go home and immediately have a protein shake. I just let my body fat continue to burn. So my body's still, you know, going through a fasted state. And then from there, um, when I do finally eat, I wanna make sure that I'm not causing my insulin to spike up super fast. I want it to go slowly. And so I always take in water soluble fruits and vegetables first. And I feel like, energetic right after that. And that's like your, like I, I know you're like big on watermelon, apples, and blueberries, right? That's that's like the best, right? For, I like my staple. Yeah. Right. So that's that, so that'll be like the first meal you're taking. It'll be your fruits. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's number one, it has everything that I need when it comes to carbohydrates, sugars, and fiber. Uh, it's very natural, right? Everything is your natural sugar, natural mm -hmm. carbohydrates, natural fiber. And you get protein from fruits and vegetables too. But it sets your body up to become like this washing machine, as I tell people. It's like it's getting ready to cleanse whatever else you put in there. So then from there, once I put in my proteins and I put in my good fats, I'm gonna take what it needs. It's gonna distribute the protein to my muscles that I broke down earlier. It's gonna give the fats to my body that I need to keep going and stay fueled. And then the rest of it gets wasted away like it should. So I wanna make sure that I'm eating my food in order in order for me to feel the way I feel throughout the rest of the day, which is very, very energetic. But by the time 7, 30, 8 o'clock comes around at night, I'm ready to pass out because I've expended a lot of energy throughout the day for good results. So, so you say you start with your fruit, your fruits, and then you go into your protein, then then your fats? Is that how my, you do uh, it? My fruits and vegetables first, yeah. Yeah, and then then your your fats, and then your... How, how, protein. Your proteins, then your fats? Is that... that? Okay. Right, yeah, so I mix the protein and the fat. You don't want to mix protein and carbs. Right. And you don't want to mix, you could do fats and carbs, but you don't want to do protein and carbs. So uh, the protein and the fats are a good mix together. Okay. All right. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, and that's all on your, your playbook that I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't, my thing is that I can't, I can't get all that, uh, all that sleep. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Like Man. that's that's my I don't have enough time. Like I can't I don't get eight hours of sleep a day, and I wish I I wish I did. Yeah, you know? that that's the setter. That's like number one to to me. Um, yeah. People go, oh, it's all calorie deficit. Well, you can get to that, but you got to get sleep first. If you ain't getting good sleep, your body's all thrown off. Yeah. Yeah, sleep is uh, my enemy. Yeah, yeah you got to get that. Fifty talks about that in his book. Hustle harder, hustle smarter. He talks about how vital sleep is and how he learned from like Jeff Bezos and, and um, I think it was a couple other millionaires and billionaires. They said they go for at least eight hours of sleep so they can feel refreshed the next day. Mm. Yeah. I wish, man. If, if I was a millionaire, I could probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, definitely. I, I couldn't tell you the last time that I've gotten eight hours of sleep on a regular basis, you know? Mm -hmm. Damn, my headphones are doing some weird shit right tough. now. What's up? Yeah. No, I said my headphones are doing some yeah. in and out. So, 
let me ask you, and you do a lot of walking too. Besides, besides your fasted workouts, you like your fasted cardio, fasted weightlifting. You do a lot of walking throughout the day too. Where do you find time to get all this stuff done with working a full time job and all that? And and watching the baby. <laughs> right, right. Uh, well, my baby, she's at school now, fortunately, so that allows me to have a little bit more time to, you know, I mean, even if I'm playing with her, I'm still walking or, you know, getting steps in. Yeah. Uh, but 30 minutes of treadmill walking, that's that's a good, you know, amount of steps because I put it at like a 4.0, 4.1 speed. Um, and by the time I'm done with that, I'm at about 5,000 steps, all right, 6,000. Mm -hmm. And then when I come home, I get home early so that <clears throat> before I start work or before I take my daughter to school, so then I just walk my dogs right after that, right? And so then they get their walk in, I get my walk in continuously. And then at home, when I'm working from home, I have a stand-up desk. So it allows me to kind of, you know, pace around a little bit instead of just sitting all day. What, what you're doing now, right now. <laughs> yeah. As you're standing right, right now. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when I was getting my setup for my podcast, you were, I kind of copied you because I saw you had that stand-up desk that you could, you can move up and down and i'm like man that's cool and i asked you about it, you told me about it and i went and got one and then i got mm -hmm. my monitor set up so basically i, I got a similar setup to you because because right of watching you i was like oh, okay cool yeah i could do more stuff with it uh -huh. you know and i was yeah, thinking, yeah. That, yeah 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 he's standing up right now that's why he's, he's no yeah I, I i noticed it before i was i was like man what Motherfucker ain't gonna sit down. No, <laughs> get this stuff. So. Yeah, it's, that it just it provides more benefits when you're standing up. It's better for your back, and I have a bad back. Um, it's better for blood flow. It's better for weight loss. You burn 180 calories to just be standing versus sitting. Yeah, you don't get as sleepy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember that being in, in school. They're like, "Hey, if you're gonna fall asleep, go stand up in the back." So people be in the back of the room. Holding their textbooks, yeah. <laughs> you know, your textbooks and stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 I, when I was in, uh, when I was in the academy, I was struggling to stay awake when, uh, when, when we had that one boring ass teacher, and I was sitting there doing wall sits on the wall just to try and uh, stay awake because this dude can put anybody to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But. Yeah, it's it's tough, man. It's no joke on that. Mm -hmm. Right on. And what's it? What's your like workout schedule look like? What do you like as far as like how much how many how many days a week are you hitting the gym? Uh, so five to six days a week is typically what I do, and the wow. time span is anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours, um, including my my cardio and lifting. Wow, wow. Yeah. that's crazy. That's going to be the fast after that, too. Is, and, and you're fasting how many hours a day? I fast at least 18 hours a day. Um, on average, during the week, I would say 20 is the average. And then I get it one to two meals within a four hour eating window. And then I get right back into my fasting because my body got all the nutrients that it needs. And once mm -hmm. it gets all the nutrients that it needs, you ain't got to worry about eating five, six, seven times a day. That stuff is all marketing. And how, how do you determine how much uh, like your body needs? Uh, so pretty much my body tells me, literally. Like I know the difference between if I work out on upper body versus lower body. When I'm hitting legs, my body's like, you need to feed me a lot more today because legs are the biggest <laughs> muscle groups in your body. <laughs> so I'll take in you know, more fruit, more proteins, and more greens. And then my body's like, all right, you good. Otherwise, I start to feel a little shaky. Yeah. But, um, you know, when I'm drinking my water, I want to make sure my urine is clear. I want to make sure that I'm feeling energetic. If not, then I'll go eat some more food, um, especially proteins and fats. And then that way, my body's like, all right, we're good. So I don't measure. I don't count calories. I don't count macros or micros. None of that. I keep it very simple. I fast. I eat what I need. And then my body rewards me for it. All right, right. Yeah. All right. That's what that's what you need to do, Chung. Man, <laughs> I, I don't know if I can make that, man. I, I eat so damn much and yeah. random shit. Uh, you ever seen somebody be skinny and fat at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Is it that like all skinny fat or something? Yeah, I was like, I was like, dude, pick the side, man. Pick one. <laughs> 
What do you want to yeah, be, bro? I, I, just, <laughs> I just gotta get consistent with my working out, man. That's yeah. like my downfall is. I'll get back into it, and then something pops up. I go, I, something's hurting, and then I slack the hell off. And you know, you know how you know how it is when you. For me, it's more. I feel like a lack of motivation. You know. Yeah, yeah. That, and as soon as I start to feel that little bit of oh shit, my shoulders hurting a little bit. Ah, I'm not gonna work out. Instead of just going yeah. like, ah, right, maybe I should do something. And instead of something that involves my shoulder, but right, yeah, you know. right, yeah, we all go through that, man. Yeah. We all go through the lack of motivation. So you just got to find something that's going to push you, and that's where that kind of kicks in, you know. And I talk to people all the time about accountability, and they're like, "This is why I reached out because I need a coach, to co a coach to kind of like kick me in the butt and you know hold me accountable." And that's where I provide that service for people, and then. You know, next thing you know, they're, they're dropping six pounds a week. And they're like, dude, I feel so much better. I feel more energetic. You know, I got one guy here already dropped 50 pounds in two and a half months. And uh, I have a woman who's 45 years old. She dropped, she's now down 61 pounds from uh, February to August. And, wow. You know, it's, it don't stop. I, like that, I'm in your little, uh, I'm in your group, the life on the Life app. And yeah. I can see, I can see them when they they comment on there. They're like, "Oh yeah, I feel great, thanks." But and I'm like, "Man, this is so cool." And like yeah. they all push, they all push each other. Yeah, I'm gonna do this this week. Let's all and then they'll like they'll get together mm -hmm. and they'll all do the same fast. Yeah, and all that. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's That's pretty cool. I try, I try to get, I try to get some of the cats at work to get on it too. And I, I share the app with them, and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah," and they, but they don't, they don't go through it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can tell you, I, I wouldn't even waste my time trying, brother. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just know, like for me, man, I, I can't not eat junk, man. I love eating junk food. This is my do downfall. <laughs> so I have it. Like yesterday, you would have been like, "There's," I wouldn't believe you if you know if you told me. But if you were sitting next to me, you'd be like, "This dude over here eating cookies." And he's eating rice krispie treats and he's eating yeah. chips and he's eating it. yeah, I ate all that yesterday. All but, yesterday? But you do it's all vegan that you do, right? Is it yeah, like vegan rice krispies? <laughs> no, it's just the marshmallows that are, are the difference, right? It doesn't have gelatin, but there's still sugar in there, right? There's still yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. sugar. But it's just the fact that before I even started eating the cheat meal or the, the sugary food or the junk food, I filled up on all the nutrients first. So then my craving for the junk food goes way down. Instead of starting with that, and then I want it again, and then again, it, you just gotta. Once you learn about how your body treats you, you're like, all right, I'm good now. Yeah, yeah. You can have fun. I have a cheat meal every day. It's just not as big. Man, I seen some of the food you make, and I'm like, man, it looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And it's like big, and it's like a huge. A huge plate of whatever you make, and I'm like, he's gonna eat all that. I'm like, wow, he yeah. eat all damn day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's pretty. Getting all his food in that one meal, pretty much. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got an ebook coming out soon. I think next month. Okay. You got what? You got a what now coming out soon? An ebook, a recipe ebook. Oh, you make? You got one that you're making? Mm -hmm. It's coming out. Next oh month. man, that's awesome. What? What? When? Where can people get that? Um, so it's going to be a link on my Instagram page, on the Coaching by Drake Instagram page. Um, it's going to be a link in my TikTok page, also on my website, coachingbydrake.com. So it should be out mid-September. Oh, man, that's Sweet, so cool. Bro. That's that so awesome. awesome, man. I'm, that is I'm, awesome. I'm so proud of everything you. you've been doing with yourself, brother. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I was you. About, you told me you were going to a conference. You're like, yeah, I'm going to... I'm like, bro, you got it. You could do this, man. You like, you were gonna mm -hmm. go speak at a, you gonna speak at a conference or something like that. I was like, you got that, bro. You could, yeah. I was like, you got the yeah. gift, man. I can wait yeah. for that. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Hey, let me. You, you, and you, you still in school too, right? You went back to school. Yeah, I went back to school to get certified in coaching, um, lifespan coaching, online coaching, youth and senior, and then. For some strange reason, I got the certified personal trainer, even though I'm not going to do that anymore. But I wanted to have all three credentials, uh, three credentials in order for me 
to add more value because I already have the experience of transforming my body. Mm -hmm. I'm able to transform other people's lifestyles. And now I have the credentials behind me from school to kind of back me up. So having those two things all put in one allows me to present myself with more credibility to people who are looking for the change. Yeah. Now that that's all done, I got all my stuff. I feel better. Yeah, of course, that's like something that's huge because, you know, sometimes people will just oh what 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 kind of what kind of knowledge does she really have Mm -hmm. now you got your schooling behind you and everything like that sometimes people just follow up on the schooling alone meanwhile the person could be you know horrible physique and everything like that you know right right so So you got a lot of you got a lot of people training people that don't know what they're they're doing (laughs) i've seen it (laughs) i've seen that they're like what I was like, what the heck? This guy got this lady doing that's gonna kill this lady. She can't, you know, she can't handle yeah. that workload. Yeah, yeah. And that, yeah, and and not to knock on any of them, but it's like when you have when you're able to just kind of showcase your own stuff, people are like, How? And I always mm-hmm. like those questions, right? Because it's like, how did you get from where you are, where you were to where you are now? And then I start to talk to them about that. And when they ask more questions, they kind of start answering it themselves and they're like, I want to give this a shot and i'm like let's go right so it's never salesy i just let what i have kind of like introduce the conversation and then from there as the conversation grows they're like they're more motivated than anything and like all right i want to do it and so that's what that's what i like i like yeah that i mean but what you is like there's proof that what right. you're doing is working because you're you're the you're the you're basically the prototype for what you're you're promoting because what where you were to mm-hmm. where you're at is like yeah. what the heck and that and i and be the way you looked before i was like man this guy looks amazing now it's, mm-hmm. even, it's even crazier because you transformed again mm-hmm. like you transferred yeah. for that big guy to what you were when i met you that yeah. i couldn't believe how big you were when i met you because you were you were like yoked and then now look at you now. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, uh-huh. like, like, geez. Thank yeah. You. Is your wife is your wife still killing it in the gym too? She is. Yeah. She had two back surgeries in 2019. Oh man, that you sucks. Know, so she she went down for a while, but then you know, she's building herself back up. And then I just posted on Instagram our pictures from our 10 year anniversary. She's 40, 41. And for her to be 41, go through two back surgeries and have a baby, her body is looking hot and i'm just looking at it like hey now (laughs) (laughs) yeah that's awesome man that's good you had an injury my brother said that you were what you said you saw him on the cane or something like that yeah yeah the cane with you yeah so i ended up uh because of the years of wrestling and stuff um i have a really bad lower back so my l4 my l5 and my s1 are really really bad so my disc tend to slip out you know, and it could be something simple as picking up some water. And I was I was going to my truck and I put like some clothes in the back of the truck and I felt that little pop again. And I was like, oh, I'll be all right. Then I put some kitchenware stuff in my truck. Boom, it went out. And what happened was I had a pelvic shift to where my oh, left man. side of my pelvis was higher than my right and my back went out on that. So I ended up standing slanted and I had to use a cane to walk because I was in so much pain. It was like a nine out of a 10 where I took a few steps and then I would just fall. I had like, it was so painful. How long ago was that? This happened July 10th of this year. Wow. And I was out of the gym for about six days, but because I've already had the injury before, I know what can help to get it, to get it uh, repaired quicker. Cause the first time I was out for five and a half weeks, but the doctor said six to eight. And then now, what helps is the intermittent fasting because my body gets to rest more it's not working the foods that i eat are more whole foods so it allows my body to not be as inflamed and then the the stretches that i've learned kind of helped uh, uh expedite the process of my recovery so i went from projected six to eight weeks when i first ended it five and a half weeks to now six days where it's like okay wow. i'm back on a treadmill again jeez so, yeah, you into that? You into that yoga and stuff like that too? I would love to do it, but I haven't done it in such a long time, man. Yeah, that's one of my my um, struggles. I haven't not done yoga in a while, but I love it though. 
especially hot yoga. Oh man. Yeah, I, I haven't been able to try the hot yoga, but I, when my back was originally jacked up, that was uh, what got me back to actually having the core strength to be able to actually work out. That was the, mm. the DDP yoga, right? Yeah, DDP yeah, yoga. when when you yeah, got me that yeah. DDP yoga. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he was messed up. He fell off a roof and landed on the ladder. <laughs> yeah, he landed Jeez. on the ladder, so he, he was jacked up. And, he, and that's why he, he finally gained weight. Yeah, uh, that, that was – shit, I ended up going from 165 to 215. Yeah, so 50 pounds up, huh? Yep, in a year. Yeah. Cause yeah, I I, yeah. I was sitting home and you know I was, my back was all fucked up and I was sitting there just drinking beers I was depressed as fuck and mm -hmm. you know drinking beers eating cookies drinking a gallon of milk still like I was doing what I was when I was working out and you know active every day so yeah you know that that did a, uh took a toll on me. And then I wasn't mm -hmm. even trying to leave my house, you know. I was just like not feeling it. Right. So, right. Chung. So, like, when you went through that, the depression and all that, and you got into the, started doing the yoga. Did you, did you feel like your depression stopped? Like you started to feel better about yourself? Um, not really. Like, obviously, you know, my my, the going from being a, a skinny dude that that always had pretty much always had abs to being a, a skinny dude with a fucking gut was kind of crazy for me, you know? And, and I don't know, like uh, I still, you ain't going to catch me fucking wrestling without a shirt on, put it that way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, I would, I would need to do a hell of a lot of work before I would feel comfortable in my in my without to be without a shirt on again in that aspect but you know like once i started like it, it took it was like the being able to work out a little bit then on top of that like bro I would, i'd have the curtains closed all day i wasn't like i wasn't trying to even do nothing outside so you know like all of that just you know started opening up the curtains started you know the working out going for walks, doing shit like that. And it definitely changed a lot of my mentality for, you know, that, that time to help mm -hmm. out. Yeah. yeah. So I'll try to think like if it, like getting back into like a grind, like something like you're doing, like every day you're up at 305 and you got, you got this schedule. So, I mean, you're you're holding yourself accountable for everything. You don't have time to be. I don't think you you know because you're so focused on that goal. And it's and it's good to set goals. And I and I I guess that's good. It could be good for your mental health because you're you're achieving stuff every time you you're going out there at three o five in the morning. You're mm -hmm. you're achieving what you set out to do for the day. You know I'm gonna get these seventy five hundred steps in before mm -hmm. you know before I eat. You know I'm gonna mm -hmm. drink this gallon of water. And, you know. I don't know. I just feel like it's it can be motivating to somebody that that suffers. You know, it gives somebody hope. You know, if they yeah. can accomplish something for themselves, and they give them hope. You know, to accomplish something, make them feel better about the rest of their life. If they can start with you know, within you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm just you know talk, talking nonsense. <laughs> no, you you hit it right on the head because I even talked about that in one of my lives recently, where I was telling people. You know, or I suggested because I never tell people what they should do, but I suggested one of the things is that um, a lot of people check their email or their social media right before they, right when they get up, right? First thing they pick up their phone, oh, okay, you know, oh, who, you know, oh, I got a message, oh, I got a notification, oh, I got an email, and and right away they reply. So before you take care of yourself, you've already replied to everybody else, but you left yourself way back there because you're ready to go see what they did or you know like something. But I encourage people, I say, before you do any of that, take care of yourself first. Give yourself an hour, hour just to take care of yourself. Go walk, go exercise, mentally prepare yourself for the day. That way you've got it out the way. You have no excuses. And now you can go take care of everything else. But take care of yourself first. Because you only get one body. And if you mess that up, 
everything else is going to go by the wayside anyway. So you can have all the money in the world, but if your body is crap, like Tom, like you said, when your back was hurting, you ain't thinking about, oh, I'm about to go do this today or oh, I'm about to go. You're just like, dude, I am in pain and I would do anything for my back to feel better. All right. And so you can have a million dollars, but if you have back pain, you're miserable. So imagine yeah. going through this every day of replying to everybody else and you're neglecting your body and your mind because you're taking care of everybody else. Eventually it's going to catch up. To you. So mm -hmm. I suggest that to a lot of people to take care of yourself first and then go take care of the rest of the day. Yeah, well, that makes sense, though. Definitely yeah. makes sense. I, I do. I pretty much find myself doing that same shit, which you said. Wake up, look at, you know, social media, whatever, and go right into my day, you know? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. No, I'm, I'm guilty of it, too. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you could tell Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, if I'm, I'm I'm trying, man. I'm getting back in the grind. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm doing it. Like I like I, I worked out today with my son. I took him to the gym, and he I watched him on the elliptical. He was like a little animal, choo, 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 and he pedaling backwards. And I'm just looking out from the side of my side of my eye. And I'm like, man, this kid's going. I said, you better calm down, man. You got asthma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I forgot to bring your pump. You got oh, asthma. Yeah. Calm down, homeboy. The last thing you need to deal with. Yeah, for real. I get beat up. Huh. <laughs> but you know man hey so we're gonna be wrapping it up like go ahead and uh tell us what you got coming up uh so yeah so quite a few things coming up um yeah, i'm launching my app uh in september so i would say mid to week three of september it's going to be under a just coach app and so people who end up subscribing um or picking any type of package they want to pick i'll go ahead and send them the link to my app and that way i'm watching them every day um they can do their check-ins with me every day they can do question and answer i could do group chat i could do all kind of different stuff so that's going to be coming out in september <clears throat> also my ebook my recipe ebook is going to be coming out mid-september uh, with just recipes as seen on ig or as seen on instagram um and then also there's going to be a conference coming up um early october it's going to be here in san diego I've collaborated with a lady. Um, actually, we went to free school together, grew up together. Um, but she runs uh, salons, and she also does um, non-evasive body sculpting. So okay. with the body sculpting comes coaching and also. So we're putting packages together. So I'm going to be speaking at her building, where we're going to be plenty of women there, plenty of other beauty supply, uh, beauty salon owners. Um, so it'd be a good opportunity to network. So there's a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Um, that's coming up within the next two months. So yeah. I'm just hella excited. Yeah, man. That, sounds good. Hey, man. That, that, that is awesome, though. No, no. I was just going to say, man, like, I'm so happy for you, man. And, you know, it's definitely awesome that you're getting to do something that you're happy doing, you know? And I, I think it's I think it's great because he's just spreading his positivity on everybody else. And it's going to make, you know, it's going it, to – He's doing it for everybody else, and it's gonna make everybody else feel like this man feels right. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's a good thing. I, I'm you. I'm I'm on board. Definitely. Right on. Definitely. Good, good. Hey, um, let's get that. Let's get your social medias where these people can find you. Yeah. So Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, every single social media is coaching by Drake. All one word. All right. So right there in the bottom, right coaching underneath you. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Go ahead, everybody. Get make sure you uh, subscribe to this man. <laughs> you got a lot of good stuff going on. Um, yeah. Man, that's phenomenal. Definitely, uh, man. You need your own show, and I, I, I know I talked to you off air about it that we need to get you on a, your own show, doing this. Mm -hmm. So that way, besides, I mean, you could keep doing your TikToks because that's good publicity and and your Instagram stuff. But this, I think, this like. To hear like you get people on your show that that going through what you know you got them going through your programs and stuff and they could talk about them so I think it'd be motivating to to the world to listen to this stuff you know what I'm saying yeah I'm that, definitely that's just, ready that's just, uh, yeah. yeah I think it'd no, hey, be I'm, great I'm I'm definitely ready and and uh, even I, I spoke with a lady today and she uh, you know I'm doing a no bread challenge for the month of August and. Uh, one lady Love she bread. reached out to me <laughs> i know i know it's uh i started in august it's today's well august 20 whatever night 
and uh, she dropped 28 pounds wow. since doing the snowboard challenge in one month. And she was like, God, you have damn. no idea how I feel. And she was like, I am so thankful. And just stuff like that, I just, that makes my day to hear that. Yeah, man. So, yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, so I'm, I think I it's awesome, like man. And I'm happy that you're doing, that you're loving what you're doing, brother. Yeah. Hey, man, I, I might, I, I might know some people that them could get you a, a show on the podcast. I'm just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, that hey, let's hey, do man, it. I, I would love to see you on this MWA podcast network with your own show. I think that'd be great for business. It won't just be wrestling and sports and all that. It'd be something, you know, something else to offer. I think we we should get into the health and fitness part of it. I think uh let me talk, let me let me make some phone calls and talk to some people and let's see if we can make yeah. that happen. Okay. All right, my man. Hey man, thank it. you for thank you for coming on. Uh, yeah. We uh, trust me everybody will benefit off of you. Right it'll, be, it'll be amazing. Um I'm ready. Thank you. Thank you for coming on man. It's always a pleasure seeing you and uh as soon as this pandemic thing's over, we got to get our butt out to California come hang out yes 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 definitely, I, had, definitely, man. I had a great time when i was out there so i mean yeah. i gotta get it get it going and likewise you know you always got a place to stay here when you come down here to florida absolutely thank you all right, appreciate man. You all. all right brother all right. you have a good one man thank thanks for being on uh we're gonna kick you out to the back room and uh we'll get up with you in a second all right Tony, brother appreciate right, you coming on all right appreciate y'all yeah that thanks right, Tony. Right. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. Oh, well, let's get let's hit those sponsors one last time. How yeah, about yeah. that? Let's, How get, about let's that? get let's get some burn for yeah, them. You, you can you can go with but start with the Realm Network. Okay, so let's start with the Realm Network. There. MWA Podcast Network is with the Realm Network, and you'll get exclusive first hand look at our shows and our catalog before they air on YouTube. You'll get Knights of the Gimmick Table with Dead Presidents, Shooting the Shit Uncensored with Pierce Austin, uh, Killing the Business with the Kingpin Angel Medina, King Mega, and the Burger Glenn King, Sexton. Glenn Sexton. <laughs> then you'll got uh, Get Funk with Alan Kwee Funk, and that's all on the RealmNetwork.com NWA Podcast Network presents our shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on top of that, guys, if you go on twitch.tv slash NWA world, you can uh, check out our shows. We have Wrestling with Sports. We have uh, the Funkin' Kingpin show. We have the NXT uh, Roundup. The, the NXT Roundup, you know. So that's another good thing that y'all can get into and watch and interact with us live on those shows there. Yeah, uh, we, we, also, we love interaction. Also, Twitter, Instagram, MWA World, uh, at MWA World, or on YouTube, MWA Podcast Network. Uh, like us, subscribe, thumbs up, you know, yeah, well, that, hit that little bell, you know, we, whatever the hell that shit is. Yeah, leave questions for us, man. We're more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. And without further ado, we got... Uh, Oh yeah, please, please. Hey guys, just again, uh, if you are an athlete or somebody in your family is an athlete, go on there and get your ten percent discount using NWA Pod. They got everything: uh, knee sleeves, arm sleeves, knee pads, uh, mouth guards. You know, everything. They got it. If you're an athlete, you need it. They got it. Sleeves.com and healthvape.com. Healthvape has healthy vaping alternatives. They got all kinds of. Uh, Energizing products. Sounds like you can help me right now. Yo, I am sleepy as fuck. I, I I maybe could use that energy, uh, or maybe even the boost, health vape. But I don't vape. But you know, maybe Spanish fly, maybe Spanish fly could give you a boost. Oh god damn you! <laughs> <laughs> All right, but guys, use that code MWA Pod for our ten yeah. percent discount. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. This was part two, episode 21 with our boy, Tony Drake, a.k.a. Baby Slim. Uh, yeah, that's our, our yeah. boy for a long time. That's oh, sure. Coach Drake, man. Make sure you subscribe to him. 
Uh, and his TikToks are great, man. They're fun. I think you would, everybody would enjoy them. So definitely go look, check out his stuff. All right. All right, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Y'all be safe, and we'll see y'all next week. Peace.